Hi first graders, I am here with a writing lesson and this week we are going to use a mentor text to help us become better writers. So when we use a book, obviously our books are written by authors. This author is George McClement. When I call you to the carpet at school, I call you my young authors as well. You guys are authors of your stories. So if we can learn from other authors how to make our stories better. So we're going to read this book, Night of the Veggie Monster by George McClement, and we are going to look at it and the things that it does and see if we can use them in our writing and to make our stories better. So today I'll read the whole story and we'll talk about one thing that we can do that this author does. And then the next couple days I'm going to be coming back to the story and we're going to keep looking at it and keep looking at other things that we can learn from the story to make our writing better. So I want you to think like an author as you listen to this story and think how are they writing it and what are they doing that is small moment and what are they doing that makes the story awesome. So here we go, Night of the Veggie Monster by George McClement. Something terrible happens every Tuesday night. There's some sunshine on my book. Let me try and fix that. <laughs> it's not the pork chops or the mashed potatoes. It all starts when I'm forced to eat. Time for another fun-filled hour. Peas! A whole three tonight. My parents act as if I'm making it all up, but I'm not. I wonder how soon before he starts. Oh, it should begin any minute now. They have no idea what one tiny pea does to me. With just the slightest touch, it begins. And we're off. My fingers become all wiggly. Ah, I knew he would start with the fingers. As the pea rests in my mouth, my eyes begin to water. My toes twist and curl up in my shoes. That's a new one. I squirm in my seat. I try to keep control, but the pea is too strong. I start to transform into... A veggie monster! Ready to smash the chairs, ready to tip the table, ready to... Great pork chops tonight. Gulp! I swallowed the pea. I actually swallowed the pea. It tasted all right, really. Quite a performance this evening. I particularly enjoyed the toe curling. Well, I guess peas are okay. But there is still a danger. Because tomorrow is Wednesday. And on Wednesday we have broccoli. Here we go again. All right, friends, so that's our story, Night of a Veggie Monster. And the one thing I want to talk to you about today that this author does so well is he keeps his story in one small moment. So this story only talks about dinner one night and what happens at dinner and about the veggies at dinner. It doesn't talk about the whole day. It doesn't talk about what he had for breakfast or what he had for lunch. It doesn't talk about what he does after dinner or before dinner. This whole entire book is about just dinner and the veggies. Okay? So that's something we can learn today from this story. How we're zooming in and finding those small moments that are just seed stories like we talked about yesterday. So this is a great example of how you can write a really good story with lots of details, but it's just about one small time that happened in your life. 
All right, my friends. So you're going to write now and you're going to work on your story. And I want you, you thought of yesterday, your idea, and you started working on it. I want you to keep working on that same story for a couple days. You shouldn't be finishing it in one day. So today I want you to take a look at your story and make sure that it is a seed story. Look through what you've planned or what you've written already and make sure it's not leaving the moment and you're just talking about one thing that you did one time. All right. Good luck, my young authors. Talk to you soon.